What's going on everyone, it's JDC here, back in the video, and today we're going to be talking about some expectations for the Houston Rockets when the draft lottery comes around and who they should pick with this top 4 pick if we get it. But before that really quick, I'm going to guys to drop a like down below, press the subscribe button, it really help with the algorithm, how good the channel to other people like Houston Rockets content and how good the channel in general. So I'm going to guys to drop a like down below, press the subscribe button, and let's get into the video. Now I think it's safe to say that every Houston Rockets fan is pretty excited to see what this draft lottery is going to be like for the Houston Rockets because this season alone was probably one of the worst seasons in Houston Rockets history. We were the second worst team in the standings, probably the worst team in the league if I'm being honest you, we were probably worse than the Wolves but definitely excited for your Houston Rockets fans to see if we get the top 4 pick in the draft because the top, the basically the top four dra uh, draft prospects in this draft law in this draft um, class are really good. Like Kid Cunningham, Jalen Suggs, Jalen Green, and Evan Moby. These are all players that could potentially become All Star potential players in the future, and you know would be good for any uh, team moving forward. Like you know maybe the Wolves get Kid, maybe they move Dilo to the shooting guard, may maybe move Kid to the point guard, and you know the trio between Kid, Russell, and Towns would be good, but. You know, but we're talking about Rockets here. We don't care about the Wolves. So, uh, some notes for the draft. If the Rockets get the number one pick, we're obviously choosing Cade Cunningham because Cade Cunningham provides that upside for us that we need. Now, what upside means in sports is that it's basically the potential to improve or, you know, basically the potential to get better. And, you know, Cade definitely has probably the best upside in this draft class because he's an offensive beast. Now, I definitely haven't seen that many games of Cade Cunningham because, you know, I don't watch, I don't really watch college basketball. I'm not really into college basketball like that. But from what I've seen and, you know, some snippets, uh, I definitely can say that uh, Cade Cunningham has a lot of offensive ability. And, you know, he's definitely someone that could bring us a lot of offensive power when he's on the floor. But I think the one thing that definitely needs to work on is defense. But, you know, that's always something that he can improve on because he's only like 18 or 19 years old so definitely something that would be great for us and we could some we, we could use in the future because if we get kate cunningham we're obviously getting rid of john wall but i wouldn't i also wouldn't be surprised if we don't get rid of john wall in the future because um the rockets could definitely use a leadership role on the team you know considering john wall is 31 or 30 i don't know how old is he how old he is but he definitely gave us a lot of good leadership a uh, good leadership role on this team and you know it kind of shows because he's been mentoring kevin porter jr you know he's been keeping all of our guys in check and you know keeping everyone engaged in the game and you know that's the thing that's the one thing i like about john wall is that he keeps he keeps all of us engaged then he has he definitely has that leadership role that we need on this team and i wouldn't be surprised if we don't get rid of him in the off season so definitely like good to see that john wall is this leadership role uh on the team but uh, as for his game, like it just doesn't help us at all. Like there was this one game he shot 29 shots and only made like 12 of them. So John Wall definitely can't be doing that anymore. He's putting up way too shots, way too many shots, and he's just doing too much on the court. So, but you know, other than that, if we get the the third, the second, third, or fourth pick, we're definitely getting Mobley because Evan Mobley. If we get if we get him, he definitely gives us some defense. Now, Christian would definitely is a okay defender uh on the interior and the exterior on and the perimeter but nothing at like a great level because as good as christian wood is offensively he definitely isn't that good on the defensive end either like def he definitely doesn't have any interior defense uh even though he's i think he's averaging like a block a game but that honestly doesn't matter if he doesn't have a uh, good interior defense because we're definitely getting killed in in the interior when christian wood is playing defense so if we get Mobley, this definitely could, you know, patch up some uh, some defensive mistakes that Christian Wood makes. So, but if we get Mobley in the draft, he's probably going to come off the bench for a few uh, games, probably the first half of the season, I'd imagine. If we decide to bring back Olenek, he'd definitely be starting over Mobley. But if we don't, I, I'm assuming we probably put Mobley at the at the center and then move with the, Wood at the four because, you know, I think everyone knows that Christian Wood loves to play this, the power forward position. Like, it just it's just this true wall. He's a, he's a true power forward. He can shoot the ball. He just moves like a power forward. I don't think of him as a center. So, if we get uh, Evan Mobley, he's definitely going to the center position. Probably come off the bench first if we bring back Olenek, but, you know, that's only if we get this uh, top four pick. Now, if we don't get the top four pick, I, I'm not really too sure about the other prospects in this draft because I've only been focusing on you know the top five, maybe six prospects in this draft. But uh, some notable things that we need to do uh, when draft night comes around is that we need to get a small forward now. 
the small forward position for us has been really weak even though we have jay sean tate now i know jay sean tate is a is a forward maybe a small forward but i don't see him as a small forward i see him most as a maybe uh maybe a shooting guard a point guard or a power forward now a point guard uh it's kind of a stretch because you know he doesn't run any plays he doesn't he's not a playmaker but i definitely can see him maybe playing some shooting guard and some power forward i like him at the power forward position because he definitely can thrive in that position but uh he probably he probably is going to be our starting small forward moving forward but i wouldn't be too mad about that it's just more of the more of the uh, small forward position that we need because Jeshon Tate is probably the only good small forward that we have now. I know that we have Daniel House, but he's basically, he's basically been injured this whole uh, season. Like he's been missing a lot of games for us, and he hasn't been really producing. So, uh, other than that, like Sterling Brown, I I don't I wouldn't consider him a small forward. He's more of a shooting guard, but you know I definitely. I definitely like him at the shooting guard position, so he's definitely not a small forward. That's what I'm saying. We we need a small forward because we only have Jay Sean Tate. We don't have, we don't really have a backup small forward. So uh, other than that, we need a backup point guard now. As good as DJ Augustine is for us and how well he's been playing for us, I don't think he's staying on this team uh, moving forward. Probably like maybe he's gone the next season or the season after that. Uh, considering that he's 33 now. I'm not, I wouldn't be too mad if we kept DJ Augustine, but also it wouldn't be too great for us just considering that he's going to turn 34 next year and that's not fitting in with our time frame with the Houston Rockets because we're, like like Steven Silas said, he wants to go younger and, you know, considering that DJ Augustine is 34, it doesn't fit with the time frame. So definitely doesn't make sense that DJ Augustine stays on this team, but uh, he's been producing for us uh, uh, pre-injury, so... Definitely wouldn't be too mad if he stays here, but wouldn't make sense. Now, yeah, we definitely need a backup point guard because Augustine, he can score, but like he's like really short for the point guard position. Like we need a point guard that's like 6'3 or 6'4, man. Like, and you know, we, we need someone that plays defense too because Augustine is too short, man, to play some defense. Like I can't. <laughs> it's, it's DJ Augustine. He, he can't play defense. So. so, you know, other than that, I mean, like, the Houston Rockets, they could definitely get a lot of uh, young talent in this draft class, considering that they have four first round picks. We have the top four protected pick, the Blazers uh, pick, the Bucks pick, and a swap. I'm not too sure who the swap is with, but I'm pretty sure it's Miami, but no, like, I don't really care. So, you know, the Houston Rockets are definitely in a pretty good position to get some really good young guys. And I know Raphael Stone will pull through because he definitely is someone that's good at finding uh, diamonds in the rough. You know, he found Jay Sean Tate. He found KJ Martin, Kevin Porter Jr. So I definitely can trust Stone to get us some really good young talent. And, you know, I definitely trust him to get us the right pieces that we need in the future. Uh, and you know to make this team a championship contending team in the future so definitely interesting to see what the Houston Rockets are going to do on draft night and uh, on the draft lottery so you know other than that the Houston Rockets have a bright future we have a lot of young talent a lot of picks in the future and you know hope Houston is a championship contending, contending team and you know the, the near future so uh, that's everything for today. If you guys like the video, drop a like down below, press the subscribe button. It really helps the algorithm, help grow the channel to other people like Houston Rockets content, and help grow the channel in general. So I'm you guys to drop a like down below, press the subscribe button, and uh, I'm out. Peace.